Hi, it's Dr. Marco again. Here's your uh, weekly health tip. So today I'm going to be talking about doing the opposite of what they tell you to do. Who's they? Whatever, the media, your doctors, mm -hmm. most of the healthcare professionals out there, magazines, all that kind of stuff. Um, f I don't know, in the last 20 years there's been so many different things said and people think they're supposed to be doing the right thing and we just kind of look at the population and say, well, this stuff really isn't working. So in the next few weeks, I'm going to be talking specifically about each one of these things individually on its own. So some of the things we're going to be talking about as far as what you've probably been doing or what you've been told to do is probably the exact opposite of what you should be doing. So we're going to be talking about cholesterol and fat. We're going to be talking about the sun. We're going to be talking about exercise. We're going to be talking about calories in, calories out. And we're going to be talking about healthy whole grains. So let's hit topic number one this week. We're going to be talking about fat and cholesterol. So what have they been telling us for the last 20 years? How to lose weight. Low fat. Avoid cholesterol. All this stuff is going to make you fat. Eating fat makes you fat. Avoid it as much as you can so people are eating low fat, no fat. Um, if they could eat negative fat, they would try to find that stuff too. And this has been one of the biggest problems in our health in the last 20 years. Why? If we look around at our population, how are we doing? How's the obesity epidemic happening in North America? You know, there's overweight and there's obese, and I think the number of obese people has actually surpassed the number of just overweight people as far as those classifications. It's a mess out there, folks. And this is a big problem. So we're going to talk about that. So they've always been telling us, avoid cholesterol and avoid fat, and I'm going to tell you, try to get as much cholesterol and as much fat as you can. Why? Well, I'm not talking about any kind of fat. I'm not talking about fat at McDonald's. I'm not talking about trans fats or polyunsaturated vegetable oils and these kind of things. You have to eat the right kind of stuff. But this is the big problem. I want you to get this. Because I do a lot of work, brain-based work in our, in, our, in, our act, in our activities at chiropractor, we're very interested in the health of the brain and the nervous system. And guess what most of your, the lining of the cells around your nerves are made out of, what the, the, the large majority of what your brain is made out of is, you guessed it, cholesterol and fat. How do you like that? And it's a lot of saturated fat too, by the way. So they always say, avoid the saturated fat. Well, that's actually what you should be eating the most of. And there's a lot of big problems with this. Cholesterol actually helps to stabilize the lining of your cells. So think of the wall of your cell as a very important medium that helps your cell exchange information in and out. Hormones are supposed to attach to it and cause changes in your genetics. Um, vitamins and minerals are supposed to come in and out. Fats and cholesterol and all that stuff is supposed to come in and out and be regulated by the health of the wall of your cell. So where those channels are, where things are coming in and out, those channels are important for how that exchange happens to keep your cells healthy. And just to show you, like so a little, the walls of the cell of your body, so here's like a cell, but basically think of the wall of your cells having two layers of fat, basically. So there's a lot of good saturated fat in the walls of your cells. And then periodically there's these little channels where vitamins and minerals and things are supposed to be coming in and out of your cells and hormones are supposed to attach to the lining and cause changes. Where those channels are, like that, these little openings, so those little gaps where things are supposed to come in and out, those channels are actually stabilized by cholesterol molecules. So cholesterol actually stabilizes the channels where information is supposed to be coming in and out of your cells. So if you damage or you're starting to eliminate your cholesterol and you're taking statins and you're trying to lower your cholesterol as much as you can and all that stuff, you're actually starting to damage the integrity of those channels. You're actually damaging the integrity of the lining of the cell wall and you're actually compromising the health of your nerve system and actually the health of your brain. And we're probably going to find that all these people on statins and stuff, they're actually probably making, predisposing themselves to have more chances of pr problems with their brain, like dementia and other kind of things like that, because they're actually destabilizing the cells that are supposed to transmit information and keep your, keep your body alive. So this is one of the main things we want to get at. So cholesterol is very important, and the fats, I've mentioned this in other videos, I'll mention it again, what are the fats that you want to be eating? Good, healthy, vegetable-based saturated fats, which are coming from avocados, avocado oil, coconut is the number one, coconut saturated fat from coconut oil, 
and obviously you want all these to be extra virgin organic as, as much as possible and then olive oil is the other big one too so for your cooking cooking needs you're going to want to try to get or, uh, olive oil as much as possible or sorry um, coconut oil because that's the the more stable one it's kind of solid at room temperature so it's very very solid and it doesn't it doesn't bend around on itself when you heat it up and cause all these cancerous things like your vegetable oils will do almost all the vegetable oils if you're looking at canola oil and vegetable oil and any of those kind of oils, they're, they're already rancid right from the start and they all, they're, you heat them up and it's even worse, it's a big mess. So avoid those as much as possible. These are the things you should be having in your diet. These fats are helping stabilize the cell walls, stabilize your neurons, the cholesterol is very important. And so what's the other big factor with the fat? So they always tell people to avoid uh, butter as much as they can, right? So here's butter. Now once again, here's the little subtleties. We don't want you to be eating uh, regular butter that you just get at the store from pasteurized milk or from because the cows are eating genetically modified foods and a bunch of other junk. You're, you're actually going to be wanting getting uh, grass-fed, grass-fed cows that produce grass-fed milk that they're going to use to make this butter. So that butter is going to be an excellent source of healthy fats and cholesterol. Very important. But the other big thing is, I call it the deke. These things are your fat-soluble vitamins, and because people have been trying to get on this no-fat kick or low-fat kick for the longest time, you've been depleting your body of some of the four most important vitamins for overall body health. We're all starting to hear how important vitamin D is, but vitamin E, vitamin A, and especially vitamin K as far as where your cholesterol gets put in your body and the health of your bones and so many other things, very, very lacking in most people. So if you're getting the grass-fed butter, that's a good, good source of that too because the cows actually take it from the grass and they convert it and start producing that. All of those fat-soluble vitamins together with the cholesterol do the most beneficial stuff for your body and these are some of the biggest things that's been missing in health in the last 15 or 20 years because people have been doing the low-fat craze. So that's my, uh, my rant for this week. <laughs> so next week we're going to be talking about one of these other topics here and uh, if this video was helpful for you, please share it. And uh, we'll see you next week. And once again, if you'd like the consultation in our office for a good neurological exam, see how your brain and your nervous system is doing, please give our, call, uh, our office a call and go to drmarcodc.com. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.